and welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2. My name's Wayno, and this is episode 83. So, we got our stero Terra still a grommelator, a agglomeration plate, whatever. This stupid thing up and work, well, up and running, not working yet, but it will be soon. So we need to make just one terra steel ingot, just one, because we need to turn it into nuggets. I think it is. Um, let's have a quick look, because um, we need to go to Elfheim. And, and this one, this one, and oh, we need three there, another three there. So we need nine total by the look of it. So we need three for the pylons, three for that. So that's nine total. So we need one terra steel. And to get terra steel, oh no, it's not terra steel. Um, Yeah, it is terror. Oh, that's the A. Ah, I see where. I see, I see, I see. So we need to. Uh, oh, we need JEI integration done. But anyway, so to get terror steel, D E R R E, right? You need to do these three here. You need a mana diamond, mana steel ingot, and a mana pearl. So I wonder in that whole time we got. Ma a diamond, not mana steel. Yeah, we got eight. Yeah, boy. Now let's see where we are. We still got heaps to go through. So it looks like it's running still quite fine, or maybe not. No, nope. it must. It will process that, then process that. So it's doing okay. So, but we need to get this up and running. So we got our diamonds. So we only need, <coughs> excuse me, we only need one at the moment. So, and then we need a ender eye. So we'll just put that back in, and then we need to grab a mana steel, and a one mana steel. Then we do this, and then we throw this, this, and this. Oops. Ah, I missed it. This, this, and this, uh, and this. Really, I really hate this because you throw it onto the platform and you have to be far away enough to actually do it. Now, this will chew the mana. It takes about half a mana pool to to do. So I'll probably end up upgrading this, and I'll probably end up moving. Because uh, you need more. I actually will probably put it up. I'll do something with it anyway. So now we have a terra steel ingot, which is what we need. Now we need to continue on to make the Alfheim. So, wrong one. So we need, oops, we need a elven gateway. So we need six living wood. And we need to turn this in like this. So we have nine, and we need six of these. So, like this, and like this. And there is our Avon, Elven Gateway Core. And now we need to make the pylons. So we need two of these. Oh, I probably could have made it in there, but hey, like this and like this and like this and there is our two gateways or our two natura pylons now we need to then make this here visualize now I want it down one so, so we'll fix these up and we will Try and put it in backwards, can I? Oh, holding shift, okay. Alright, so we will have to go here and then look in. Ah, oh, 
hate when this does this. And what am I? Really, it won't sit there. That is just stupid fighting with it just to put it there. Well, I know what it looks like anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I was just hoping that I could put it there to see. Oh, well, I'll just come around the back like this then. And then just put it in here. Why are you being so difficult? Seriously. Whatever. You're a piece of crap. You're starting to really annoy me. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it will not anchor there unless there's a block. I know it has to be on a block, but it's like, seriously? It's not even... Yeah, it's just stupid. I went the wrong way. Uh, I'm looking the wrong way, aren't I, completely? It's over here. So... Should be something like that. Visualize, put it in there. Okay. Okay, so what we need is we need some living wood. We need to put the gateway, elven gateway core here. Then we need some glowstone looking living wood. Um, <coughs> this stuff here. So it requires some glowstone. Um, how much do we have of it? Four pieces, so we really need to do some more glowstone stuff. All I need is three though, so that's good. So, one, two, three. And swap these around. I wonder if I've got enough to actually finish this, it doesn't look like it. Mm. So here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and one there. And we need need some more, but that's okay. I'll use this instead because then I don't have to break it. Okay, so we need some more living wood. I wonder if we got any other wood. Um, yes, we do. So. up one more batch of that. I should really cook up, get it cooking up quite a few of them. Auto make that. So hopefully that will work. So what I'll do is I'll end up having moving this. I really need to move that out somewhere else to you know for our farm or for my farm. But we'll turn this off. So. Um, we do need to make another farm. I mean, I could just put it over here. It's just behind there. Make a farm from actual additions of the farmer and let that set up and just manually plant all the plants that we require and just get it dumped into all the drawers. That's probably about the easiest way to do it. And here is all of them changed. Thank you. We'll do another set because it needs to be done. Oops. Uh, leave it. Wait till it changes and then do it. And we go here and then the last one of them and then here and then here. And structure complete. And 
now I do this and this with these cool looking neutral pylons and bam they look amazing they used to be these diamond looking things um, and they didn't really look that great but now they look really really good uh, I'll put this in here and the rest of this okay I'll quickly have a look at see where we are with the this and I have a bucket of water um, bucket of water um, how do I get rid of this bucket of the water I'll just come and put it down here I will do that. Yes. The worst thing that you possibly could is put water down and let it leak everywhere. Find out where this has gone wrong and fix it. Uh, that looks okay. That looks okay. This one here. Yep. Okay, so. <sighs> I don't know if the author wants it to be automated, but it is rather annoying not being automated. Okay, so now we need to get a lot more mana income to actually fill up all these. I think I'm actually out of charcoal, I am. So uh, we need to cook up a lot more car charcoal, eh? So, because we will be feeding this mana pool and these two mana pools as well so um, yeah we need to go get some more wood I know all my dirt is gone but that doesn't matter and we put all them in and all that okay now that will cook up into charcoal for the to power this now there is three three type of mana spreaders now you got the elven gateway then the Gaia so and yeah, to get the Gaia one you need the elven one now for the elven one you need elven wood to get elven wood you need to throw the elven wood into the gateway but we need to charge the gateway up so now for the sparks I can never remember what does what so I'll probably have to I'll get that in my inventory of each one of the sparks but to get the sparks you need to throw in ender pearls and mana steel and yeah quite a few other bits and pieces so I think we need more than three I'll do like a stack So. two stacks will do and we need mana steel so we want a uh, well I know we need quite a bit of mana, uh, mana uh, iron so we'll bounce over here and hopefully have some iron <laughs> only a little bit and that actually ran out and we still have 28 to go so we filled up heaps we made a lot so going that way is actually better uh, we need to crush all this first and none of it was working because I was doing I forgot to empty that so <coughs> we have to wait anyway we've got to wait anyway to start these up so we need to get some more sparks These require runes and stuff. Um, I think you needed one of these, or oh, well, this one, and then some of these, but to make your stuff, because the dragon stone you need to throw in a mana diamond. So I might read up on sparks while I wait, because I can't remember what exactly you have to do. 
Spark Saints you need to create a combination of raw mana, blah blah blah. Uh, so mana containing or accepting blocks, mainly mana pools. Some blocks have the ability to harness mana from blocks, but users seem to limit the few. Placing a spark on the top of mana pool and on another top of the block that can accept it will allow for the latter to remotely access the resolution of the mana pools when needed, given it's not too far away. To remove it, simply shift right click with a wand and you're done. Regular right click shows the other sparks transfer too. In the case that one that one might think that the sparks are too Obstructive, it looks like one can use a phantom ink to turn the target spark highly translucent. That does not consume the ink. Okay. I'm still not too into it. But I have played it before this, so. One and two. <coughs> now I think this will actually pass on the sparks. Let's see. Um, yeah, so they're connected. So, but I don't think this will actually pass it on. Well, let's see, we can right click on here. There we go. It didn't last very, very long. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And my mana tablet's gone. Uh, what did I do with my mana tablet? There it is. So, what we can do with the mana tablet is we can throw this on it, on the pool. See? To eat half of. Or some of it. I don't know how much it uses, but from memory, you used to fill it to about halfway, quickly unlock it, and then get your dominant spark and something else. But isolated, res uh, recessive, dominant, yes, and then you got the dominant one, and then you got the dispersive one. I'm pretty you had to have either one. I think I've drained my mana tablet. Yes. So, which I'll have to do again. Now, I'll have to make more of these, but I think I might have to go up a floor and then having. Or I could just let them run and then, yeah, over a couple of hours they will fill up of me while recording or just leaving the game to run but we'll work that out when we get there so oh yes so it pretty much emptied the pool out so we'll just empty that and then whatever's left over I will use to maintain my armor and stuff so cuz that's not quite drained so, and the more of these bad boys you have, the more you'll get. So, what I usually do is I do them in a bunch of, uh, I think it was 3x3, three three, and then um, like in a pattern with that in the middle, and then I do another 3x3, 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 so you have a heap of them, and they're all linked together, and you only have one mana spreader per set of threes, and then you have a heap. So I'm going to quickly just see what else I need because I don't know if how that works now. So that is completely drained. My tablet. I actually isn't there some like black lotus or something like that in this that can refill your mana? Yes, there is. That's from actual editions. That one there. I uh, don't know how to access it though. What's this over here? Dread lamp. Okay. <laughs> so I think because you throw them you get the other type of the pinky looking one which yeah see this one here pixel dust oh they actually need to be converted Ooh, and I just wasted all my mana so let's see can't even do one 
So I'm going to have to let that run. So that will probably take a while because usually I should really make another because that is in a 3x3 three three pattern but you need to end up moving this so you have the 3x here then you have that there and then you have it um, dropping down one underneath and back up and around um, so like up here and then that actually will be a little bit here and that goes up and back and around and then you yeah that goes underneath so it doesn't interfere with the um, endo flames or endo flames. There are other ways to actually get in, um, a lot more mana quicker um, but I like the endo flames because you just cook up a bunch so yeah quite easy um, the quartz has been crushed so we can start on that got quite a bit of quartz out of that one and iron yeah so we need to automate the iron gathering a little bit better so, so we need to get all this working properly so we can continue on with making refined storage and getting the quartz up the whole point of this is to get the conjuration one up which requires the elemental which is your two mana steel oh that's right I wanted to do I actually probably don't have enough mana no I don't so I might as well just wait and let it charge up a lot of it so I probably won't do much I'll probably just stand in the corner and let the game run while I'm probably sleeping for a few hours we need to restore our mana pool. Uh, let's have a quick look. Let's see what other mana generation we have. Uh, that must be this one. Uh, Begonia. <laughs> so it's like, here, Begonia! have all my damn bees awesome uh... yeah no, i don't want to do the tnt one gormalaeus will eat any food in the small area hydrangeas no munch dew no thermal thermal lily is that the lava one yeah this is the one that eats lava but i don't want that one either so pretty much it's cut, it has cut a lot of the older stuff out, like there's no day bloom or night bloom. Um, yeah, so... And this one absorbs experience. So... Don't know what this one is though. So this one eats slimes. Okay, so we got B, we got Endoflame, we got TNT, eats food, eats water, eats um, leaves, yeah, any leaves, um, and then eats slimes, eats experience, and then eats lava. Okay then, so, well, that is something to awe about. So, it used to be that you had to start off with the day blooms to get tiny bit of uh, mana to convert it, but Vasky's removed all of that. So, what's the time? We got nearly end of the uh, this episode. So, actually, oops. Um, let's see, if I use this in the crusher, it has a chance to give me nickel grit, which I don't actually want nickel, but it will just constantly chew all of it. So, oh, that's a good way to get three bars, but the starlight, pfft, 
I thought it was good, but no, it's it's a real problem. It really is. It's for the amount of wasting time you've actually got to deal with it. It is an annoyance. So the the mod seemed really good, but you look how much how much glowstone did it go before it broke? Oh, okay, I don't know because it was at 38. And over here, so. So we're at 38, so we'll let that process. Is it night time or uh, it's just... No, it's coming just into night time. So... Uh, what's the time? Uh, I know, I probably can't see on there. Da -dung. Must be that finishing. But we have... Um, I'm thinking of actually moving this because it's actually really annoying right here. It's just annoying me. And I need to remove the power, so we'll probably move the power to one over, then come up. Then I probably could put the chest here and then just pipe stuff into it or whatever. Or we'll use another crate or something. But we are waiting for mana to fill up. Because I really want to convert. Okay, so we only managed to convert nine out of the lot. So this would be drained. Yeah. So I will probably set this up just to run for a while. Probably take a couple of hours to completely fill that at this rate. Um, if I do anything or whatever, I probably will cut in and show you. But it may have to end up moving all this to over a little bit more, maybe, to fill up my thing. I mean, I should be able to fit, like, if I keep where it is and then move it over to here, so it'll be three here, and then three here, and then it'll be three on this side and this side. So that should be alright. I'll probably just end up moving this to actually climb up to the thing, so you can actually go underneath it. So, because this currently is not a bad setup, but the problem is, is I'm wasting space by having the dropper here. Um, if I can get it, if I make a mana lens, these actually eat up quite big uh, areas, and you can have a three by three reaching in the middle here. So, well, where it is, and then moving this to the side. The only problem is, is you can't have the redstone on touching, or these stop sending signals. So. The other way you can do it is have a, a really long way around and then have a repeater halfway so when it hits the 15 mark it just shoots off and then turns it off that way. But it will be have to be moved around eventually. Because if you use a lot of botania you need a lot of mana really quickly. So... And I actually don't know how to do auto crafting in this pack very well. So I don't know it all fully or not. I really should get into bees actually while I'm waiting. So let's look up bee. I think it's a bee attractor. Beehive. Bee attractor. So we need to make an impregnated casing, which is seed oil and a bunch of wood. So eight wood. Probably want more than one, but we'll start off with one over to here and delete that we have 5230 seed oil which is really good so this will end the episode on actually starting bees. I will do with what I was going to say with the bees is actually go down one level and make it there so the bees will be out of the way but still accessible. So let's see what I'm missing. Uh, I have no idea what just happened there. Look at that. That's just like, here, take this. Bam. Okay, so we need to shift this around. Uh, I don't even know what else. It's three across the bottom. So we need one more bronze. I think something was really squiffed. And it's actually not even letting me. Uh, B, A, T. 
Oh, it needs to be in a carpenter. Okay then, so I will... in here oh it does awesome let's make the B attractor I should actually start <coughs> building the stuff down the bottom shouldn't I so let's do this and then this and this that actual quartz can go away in here because we need to make more okay so we need to make a bottom we need to make a lot of it so we grab that I will see how many diamonds we have if we have nine I will make the diamond wand which will last ages we have four diamonds so and it looks like stuff is starting to back up um, in that chest We actually have enough to make it with a little spare. Awesome. So we have a diamond wand now. Now we need to get, um, while I'm here, uh, wool. Like that, and like that. A white elevator. Run around and we'll quickly grab this. Okay, now remember I said that you need to be so one, two, three, and four because of um, the extra platform that I was building over there, and that was four down. So we go from four down. Pretty sure it was four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. So this is four. So this will be the actual top. So if we break, so this will be the top of the platform. And then we break that one. Wrong one. So we need to break this one. So there. So that will be our top. Now we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And the oh, actually no, I'll go seven. So here will be our new platform base. So and if we slide in here, and then we go one, two. And now if we dig down, we should hit, there we go. So we jump back up, and we take that, and we put that down and go back down. This is our new B base. B for basement. B for the B basement, B base basement. Anyway, it is now wrapping up point, it is, 33 minutes into the mark so we have created our new basement for bees so I'll expand this um, in the next episode so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time laters and have fun